Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. You're talking about Winchester. That's right. The Hawkins old caretaker. Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. Huh, it's really that old. Come on, let's leave the stories of the dead alone. Had nothing to do with your case anyhow. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined, but the architecture seems too recent. Flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing, let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Poor kid. Lord. Poor kid.
I'll have to find another entrance. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa! Uh. Uh. You're... Mr. Winchester, lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Sarah Hawkins' father sent me here to investigate the death of his daughter. Webster, huh? I understand how he feels. But me? I want the dead to rest in peace. And that means kicking the ass of gumshoes like you. Why would you not want me to help understand what happened here? I've got nothing to hide. Tell me what you're doing here. And no baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Mm, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. Uh, right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Shall we enter? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? The Last Supper of the Hawkins. 
What does this tell me? What kind of meat is this? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? Daydreaming again. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Let's see if I can find Silas something that calms the fire under control. But it was already too late for the Hawkins. Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? They had a fight. Why? Did it stop at the time of the fire? If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Did someone escape the fire? Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. So, detective, what do you make of it? Much of this evidence simply contradicts the investigation's findings. Really? Tell me about it. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. <laughs> What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. Ah. 
I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. This door is locked. Could prove useful. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. These bandages are covered in dried blood. But whose? An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. This place was falling apart long before the fire. Ah, Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. A book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century. There's something disturbing about this painting. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police. room. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him.
What will her room reveal about her? Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Perfect. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Bradley? Is that you? Is anyone there? Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. I'll cover you. This door was closed earlier. Where did he go? They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. It looks like an old seaway map. Do you really think that your fugitive came in here? I don't see any way out. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Probably another friend of Hawkins. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. As if the bookcase has been moved several times. This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Doesn't work. 
I must have missed something. Seems like this came from a log. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. Looks like it worked. Well done, Pierce. 